This is David Bowie for Countdown. We shall be talking very shortly, in a matter of hours, days or weeks, about um, the 17th century and uh, Paschelbel's influence on 1970s gardening. And here's Paschelbel's garden. <laughs> it's not really, it's Kew Gardens. <laughs> And we'll be talking about music, actually, in the 70s. Do you think that the um, audio vision thing is going to play a lot of importance in the 80s? Undoubtedly. I thought it would have happened a bit sooner, really. Um, but they didn't get their hardware out. Everybody kept arguing about what sort of system they're going to have for video, video disc and whatever, and it took ages to get this stuff out. But now that it is out, I think it will probably make a, a big cut into um, record sales generally, as is probably being seen anyway. I think at the beginning of the 70s, when it was sort of a bit dull, the idea of uh, creating a flash of some kind. Right. And the flash was created, but nobody's really found holding a smoking pistol. So right. it sort of went off at tangents after that. There was no real definite thing said at the beginning of the 70s, um, but it did open everything up for investigation and sort of uh, sub avenues of different kinds of music. People started working in all different areas of music. Right. Now, with DJ, there was sort of um, a thing where you were throwing records around and that. Do you have any respect for the media of the DJs that, that you know, <laughs> that play the records? Respect? Yeah. I, that's, I don't really listen to them very much. I no? listen to DJs very much. I think it uh, depends who the DJ is and what station he works for. Uh, and what kind of music he wants to present, why he wants to be a DJ. Right. I don't know. They seem to have some awesome sort of power. I don't power. Know, I really know about the silent world of the DJ. Yeah. It's his sort of silent because his records do his talking for him. Right. Although they tend to have an awesome power of what they play and don't play. And on, the, on the larger things, yeah. yeah. On the larger media things. But there again, the larger media things have an awesome power about what they do and don't put on. Right. Don't they? Yeah. What is your opinion of the younger groups today? The younger groups? Yeah. Mm, very small. They're usually about that big. <laughs> No, seriously. I'm whopping great guitars. No, seriously. Like the Boomtown Rats, Police. Oh, that's very difficult. I like tracks. I mean, the odd few things that I've heard from those two particular bands. Right. Um, there's some other bands uh, that I've listened to more. Um, like who? Well, I like the Talking Heads, actually. Right. Young, they're not, but they're a very good band. Right. I, I like what they're playing. And what about, say, someone like Gary Newman, who they claim is the Bowie of the I 80s? I heard his singles. I like the singles. They're yeah. sweet. Yeah. Right, so um, David Bowie in the 80s, will it, will it be... Well, we don't, you don't know yourself Not what really, you mean. No. Really. No. Mm. All right. Um, one more, one what last question. What will you question. be in the 80s? What you God be? only knows. Probably <laughs> stuttering wreck in a, in a greenery. Um, in a greenery? If, if again... Uh, you had to uh, it's someone. If you thought about the 70s, um, what would you say was the most influential thing in the 70s on music? Well, it wasn't Vera Lynn, was it? it certainly wasn't. Um, oh, I, I couldn't possibly say the people yeah. more than anything else. The people really created changes and wanted changes. 